Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new series. Um, this is a little Minecraft server called Wincraft. You might have heard of it, you might have not. Uh, basically, it's an MMORPG in Minecraft. Um, the server's been out for five ish years now, I want to say. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, I've been playing for the past few years on and off now. Um, I started playing back around the um, Gavel update when it came out, if any of you guys are familiar with that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, my main class that I've played on is my mage, and it's at level 93 currently. And then I also played on an archer a little bit. It's at level 29. Not really that much. You can see I finished 11 out of the 157 quests. Um, now, this is a very big game, actually. Um, the map size is huge. There's a ton of quests in it. There's a ton of loot. Um, honestly, for being a Minecraft server with no mods, it's probably my favorite of all time, to be honest. Um, so now you can see here we're on the create your character screen. Basically, the classes you have archer, warrior, mage, and assassin. Um, as well as down at the bottom, you see hunter, knight, dark wizard, and ninja. And you can see that these two are VIP classes, as well as these two are VIP plus classes. Um, now, these are all not any different from all of these classes up here, except for the fact that they have different animations that come along with the skills. Um, so, the, all uh, four of these classes up here, they each have their own unique set of skills. They have their own set of unique animations. The only difference with these bottom ones is that they have slightly different animations, um, if any of you guys were wondering about that. Um, so the class that I'm going to be playing is probably either a warrior or an assassin, purely because I've already leveled up a mage quite a bit, and I've played an archer as well a tiny bit. Um, I considered playing as an archer, but I, I don't know. It's just a really squishy class. As you can see, it has one defense as opposed to the warrior's five defense or the assassin's four defense. I feel like I would just be pretty squishy with the archer. Um, so I think I'm going to go with assassin. Uh, and yeah, let's just jump right into the game. And it sounds like we're on a horse-drawn carriage of some sort. Ah, caravan driver says. <laughs> hey, finger flicking boy, you all right in there? Looks like we hit something. All right, let's go and talk to this caravan driver. I swear I hit the same dang boulder every time I make this trip. Yep, even seems like I got a pile of wasted wheels stacking up. <laughs> Does this mean we have to walk all the way to Ragni from here? It's not that far. It's just a straight path from here, finger flicking boy. If you're ready, let's get moving. Alright, let's get moving. So we got uh, Eladar and Tessim following us. So what do you guys know about when exactly? Same as you, that the war's been getting worse, so the king of Ragni has been recruiting Fruma soldiers. I've never seen the Wind Province before. What do you think it's like? I think we're about to find out. I think so too. Must be the gate making the border between Fruma and Wynn. Yeah, now we can see what Wynn is really like and find out if the stories are true. Here we go. Man, and see, like, that's like one of the little things that I think is really cool, like that door opening animation. And this is all on the server. Uh, well, what are you waiting for? So this is Wynn, huh? Province of Wynn. It looks nice. The war clearly hasn't made it this far. Hey, you there. Come over here and talk to me. Talk to this old man. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? I've been waiting for you three. You're late. There's a bit of trouble up ahead. You will need to get yourself some raw materials. I didn't think we needed anything. Why would raw materials help us? Well, you thought wrong. You will need some raw materials to make yourself something to fight with. 
I left my pickaxe by the ore over yonder. Punch it and pick it up. Then mine two copper ore and bring it back here. All right, we'll do. So this is a mechanic that I remember they added into the game last year. Um, it's the um, it's part of the economy update, and you could basically harvest uh, crafting materials, and you can craft your own items. So all you have to do is click on a node and it'll automatically start mining it which is really nifty all right so we got two ore pieces that looks like the stuff i was sent ahead by the guards to warn any newcomers normally this place is pretty safe but somehow a few corrupt slipped through we're pretty far from the portal so i don't know how they got here they even broke the bridge the guards told me to send you on ahead with that copper so you can get it yourself kitted out there's a refinery up ahead. You three can go forge weapons there. Thanks for the warning. I guess we better get going. Finger flicking boy, lead the way. All right, we'll do. Got bridge to Ragni Castle. The old man said something about a bridge being broken. Let's check it out. Wait, stop. Don't want you falling off the edge. Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. Yeah, there's no way we'll get across here unless one of you happen to be a bridge repairman back in Fruma. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't remember. I know this sounds crazy, but I honestly can't remember anything I did back home. No, you're not crazy. It's the same for me. It looks like finger flicking boys suffering the same amnesia as well. It's a mystery for another day, I suppose. For now, finger flicking boy, let's look for a way across. There's got to be something we can use to get to the other side. All right, well, this uh, this bridge over here is looking pretty fine and dandy, so let's go and grab this axe, and let's cut it down. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this will make a fine bridge. I guess that's one way of getting across. You guys head over the ravine. I'll be right behind you. All right, we'll do to see... Just ahead is the entrance to the underpass. Once we get there, we'll be at the castle. Ah, uh, the new recruits. I'm afraid you won't be able to pass through here yet. What? Why not? Somehow, a bunch of corrupt siege the underpass. It's not safe to go in unarmed. You three need weapons first. You should be able to use the nearby resources to craft your own. Fine, I know what to do. Finger flicking boy to seem, follow me. Alright. Lead the way, Eladir. Or Eladar. However you say your name. <laughs> this is the refinery the old man was talking about. Use it to make two copper ingots and then show them to me. There's some ore nearby if you need any more. Alright, so we're going to place our copper in there. And then left click to refine copper ingots. Alright, we got two of them. Perfect. There's the ingots. Good job. But that was only the first step. Now on to step two. Follow me. Alright, man. Now we've got to refine some logs into wood. Cut down the nearby trees if you need more logs. Refine the logs into two wood and then show them to me. Alright, sounds good. Got some refined oak wood. Okay, only one more step to go. Let's make this quick so we can get to the castle in time. I don't really know what happened to the background music. <laughs> The last thing we need to do is use this anvil to forge a weapon. Use two ingots and one wood to forge one dagger and then show it to the guard. Alright, sounds good. So we'll do two ingots and one wood. And we got our normal scimitar of lameness. <laughs> it's not the strongest weapon, but it's enough. Let's go and see if this is good enough for the guard finger flicking boy. Is it good enough, guard? Looks like you are all in order. I hope you know how to use it. You may pass, but be careful. It's still very dangerous. Alright. 
I want to figure out what's happening with the music real quick. Um, I believe if I go into the quest book and let's go to configuration and go to music, we're going to enable uh, the wind tills music and hopefully it works. How much of the soundtrack was not focused on? Apply. I'm um, still not hearing music, but let's go. Oh, wait, nothing is being played. Music and sounds. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with the music. Well, I guess we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Let's continue on our quest. What's going on? That must be one of those corrupt the old man mentioned. Don't worry, it's moving so slow that it can't hurt us. Oh, never mind, kill it. <laughs> Alright, good job, finger flicking boy. Let's keep going. Looks like we're heading through some mine of some sort. Anyone else have a bad feeling? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh no. Finger flicking boy, take the one in front. We'll get the tune back. Alright, man. So that's like one of the skills that you have. You use different uh, combinations of clicking your mouse buttons to activate your skills, which is pretty cool. Good, uh, great work, finger flicking boy. We're almost to the castle, so let's keep going. Careful, looks like there's more undead. Yep, we'll just get rid of them. No big deal. We'll just grab their emeralds on the way. Um, the emeralds in this game are currency, so you definitely want to pick them up. <laughs> Finally, some backup. Help me out here, would you? I mean, yeah. What happened? Did you get attacked by the corrupt? Come on. Uh, not quite recruit. I'm well equipped for them. The issue is this cave in. This isn't seriously the only way through, is it? What are we gonna do? Um, if it wasn't for my injuries, I could just use my weapon to cast a spell on these boulders to get rid of them. I know you're new, but we're out of options. Finger flicking boy, you're an assassin, right? Walk up to the boulder for me. Now cast your spin attack by clicking right, left, right. Oh, I guess that did the trick. Good work. Now you three head on towards the castle. Sir, yes sir. Wait. Oh no. Run. <laughs> oh, wow, there's actually quite a few. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> there's the music. <laughs> get, get our uh, our spin attacks in there. <laughs> Launch the trebuchet. Oh, that worked. Thanks for the save. Oh, it didn't kill one of them. <laughs> well, I'm just glad everyone made it out. Okay, all right, recruits. The castle is straight ahead. All right, let's head towards it. There it is. Ragni, right up ahead. Well, we made it. Guess we better head inside and talk to the king. You are now entering Ragni. Awesome. So you can see right here, there's some different suits of ar uh, armor. That's the hunter. It's the warrior. It's the mage. And that's the assassin. Oh, the music is so loud now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Wait, 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 uh, 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 apply, did that help, base volume, uh, let's see, I think that might have helped, what if we turn it back to like, negative 25, okay, well, it sounds better now, <laughs> sorry about that, and we're in Ragni Castle. Ah, you must be the last recruit. Please come over here and speak to me. Alright, one thing I want to show you guys. How cool is this? 
It's like the mirrored image of the room. It looks like it's like mirror, like reflective. That's so cool. I love it. Um, hello, Ragnis King. Uh, hello, your friends just left. They told me quite the story about what happened to you three on the way here. Welcome to the Wind Province. This is the noble fort of Ragni, one of the oldest and most influential cities in the province. Your job as a soldier of wind is to stop the growth of the monsters that are ravaging the province. You might want to train a little beforehand though. Many lives are lost every day. Anyway, good luck. If you are lost, use the map.windcraft.com as it is very useful for you to know where to go. Take this one Ragni, uh, wait. Take this one Ragni teleportation scroll too. It will bring you back here if you lose it. Quest completed, King's Recruit. And we got some nice rewards. Um, you might have noticed that the King said to use uh, the map.windcraft.com. And that's like the official map for the game. But I'm actually using a, uh, a pack on the Twitch launcher for Windcraft that kind of uh, gives some quality of life additions to the game. Um, as well as a built-in map, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to zoom out for you guys for one second and show you the whole map. So originally how the game was, was it was this whole wind province right here where I'm kind of outlining, outlining my mouse, which is huge in of itself. And then a few years back, they added a whole new province on the other side of the ocean, which is called Gavel. And this place is absolutely massive as well as there's a ton of different islands spread out across the uh, the ocean, as well as another huge island called Quarkus. Um, and so all of these islands have little unique features about them. They have their own little um, port cities, and it's just a really cool game. Um, but anyways, I think that's the, um, the note that we're going to end on for the first episode in our Minecraft series or not our Minecraft series, our Windcraft series. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you next time. See ya!